This week, it's a Georgia Traveler special, weekend getaways for you to enjoy. We begin at the 74 Ranch in Jasper, where you can herd cattle, rope, ride, fish, and bunk up in rustic cowboy quarters. Then we show you a luxurious coastal treasure, the Cloister on Sea Island, where you can swim, shoot, golf, and enjoy the riches of the Golden Isles. We head to the mountains to the Martin House in LJ to show you how to experience one of the world's top glamping destinations. Then we venture just outside of Atlanta to Serenby, a thousand acre sustainable community where great food and unique quarters make for a perfect getaway. We head to Callaway Gardens in Pine Mountain and discover acres of beautifully cultivated grounds mixed with endless activities to entertain you all weekend and journey to the Flat Creek Lodge in Swainsboro and discover award-winning cuisine mixed with eye-popping scenery. All that and more on this special weekend getaways edition of Georgia Traveler. If you always wanted to escape to the Old West, then you should saddle up for the weekend at the 74 Ranch in Jasper. If you are in search of a weekend trip that takes you to the Wild West without ever leaving Georgia, then pack your stagecoach and take the trail to Jasper to a place where genuine cowboys still roam the field and herd cattle. That's right, folks, the 74 Ranch in Jasper, where Wyoming comes to Georgia. People come here to see the real thing, and uh, we try to give them that. Longtime Atlanta news anchor Pam Martin and her husband Larry Butler have taken this classic North Georgia ranch and turned it into a destination anyone can visit to experience the cowboy life. I don't know of any other place in Georgia that is like this, that has a guest operation where you can see and feel what it's like to be among the horses and the cows and have space. People love to bring their dogs here and we allow dogs because we have three fenced acres for them to run. What is so creative for me is we make a framework for people to make their own memories. You can sit on the rockers and watch, you can relax, you can read, you can nap, or you can learn to ride rope shoot, fish. The cowboys will teach ranch visitors a few tricks of the trade. They'll take them out on rides through the pasture, a beautiful scenic mountain backdrop with herds of cattle splitting the rolling hills. There are different rides for different level riders. Not being an advanced rider myself, I took to the ground and got a lesson from Larry on the basics of roping. Okay, I'm getting it. Yeah, you're getting it, exactly. Exactly. That's all right. And keep in mind that you're horseback at 25 miles an hour. <laughs> yes! Woo! All right. Yes! That, 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 that isn't just good. That is perfect. Thank you. Pam even likes to cook up a few family specialties for visitors to eat while sitting on the porch or out in the pasture. And by the way, she is used to cooking for people with a cowboy appetite. I have my favorites. I've developed them over many years. Some started with my mom, some of her original recipes. And it's a great way to start people off on their day. So after a full day of riding, eating, and roping, it's time to bunk up for the night. We built the saddle house, first for our saddles, and then for our cowboys. And then we realized it was perfect for families and kids and reunions. and. It slowly evolved into more and more places for guests to be as we realized how many people truly loved being here. Maybe step out on the porch for a morning coffee and watch the cattle and cow horses roam the pasture. You or the kids may also bunk up in one of the four other living quarters, including the saddle house, where you may also partake in a little Thank game you. of poker, playing for chips only, of course. But if you're looking for a place to bunk that makes you feel a bit more like a genuine cowboy, grab your lasso and head on down to the stables. It has no power, which takes people 
way back. As soon as you eliminate all the beeping lights and the sound of electronics, you step back. So they use a Coleman lantern, they use oil lamps, they use candles, and it's one of our most requested rooms. And you're right with the horses. When you open up the shutter, they're like three feet away. So you sit up in bed, open the shutters, and hello. It's hard to believe there's a place like this so close to the big city. A true cowboy ranch with an official Wyoming certified brand. You may not leave a genuine cowboy, but you can sure as heck pretend you are. And moreover, tell your friends back home about your weekend getaway to Georgia's wild frontier. If you're up for a luxurious coastal retreat, the world-renowned Cloister on Sea Island is your weekend ticket. The Cloister on Sea Island. The name is synonymous with luxury. Continuously rated among the top resorts and hotels in the world, this is a secluded coastal weekend destination. I like to think that we're understated elegance. Um, and it's a quiet sort of gentility, um, but a warmth and a genuineness uh, that comes from, from our people here. Uh, and I think that's what sets the cloister apart. The cloister opened in 1928, survived through the Great Depression, and now represents Georgia's Golden Isles in gorgeous fashion. When you are strolling the grounds of the cloister, you'll notice the live oaks that are spread all about the property, many of which were planted by dignitaries, including past presidents and two prime ministers. The first one, known as Constitution Oak, was planted in 1928 by President Calvin Coolidge. There's a beautiful beach that's five miles long. It's great to walk early in the morning or late in the afternoon. There are seemingly endless acres of marshes teeming with wildlife and birds. There's horseback riding, skeet shooting, fishing, tennis, squash, and of course, the whole spa experience. There are a number of things to experience for every generation of vacationer. And then there's the golf. Yeah. Sea Island has been rated by Golf Digest on more than one occasion as America's number one course. There are lots of opportunities for family activities, but there are also special activities for kids. Camp Cloister, where participants can have all kinds of fun. And the shooting isn't just for grown-ups. Kids can come for target practice too. One target of opportunity that you don't want to miss on Sea Island is excellent fine dining. The Cloister is also home to the Georgian Room, a mobile five-star restaurant, of which there are less than 20 in the United States. And leading the team at the Georgian Room is chef de cuisine, Daniel Zeal. It is duck liver. So right here, we've got a uh, fresh half of a Georgia peach that's been roasted, and here's our bread pudding which is made with macadamia nuts, Georgia peach, a little bit of vanilla, thyme, and then a little bit of white chocolate. So it's starting to heat up. It's, it's just about where it needs to be, about 700 degrees. And then our bread pudding, nice golden brown around the edges. We'll pop that back in the oven. Our pan here for the foie gras is gonna have to be nice and hot. As you can see, it's already starting to smoke. We have our foie gras, and we're gonna put a little bit of that salt on top there, lay it down in the pan, so the foie gras gets a nice little crust on the outside of it when we sear it like that, the little diamond shapes come out and we're actually going to bring that down a little bit with a lower heat now because we're not trying to sear the backside so much but really kind of just carry that temperature through, so and then we'll carry these up to the front and go to plate. For a weekend getaway at a classic coastal Golden Island gym, prepare yourself for some warm southern hospitality and head on down to the Cloister on Sea Island. So 
if you're in the mood for a tent camping retreat with B&B Luxury, glamping at the Martin House is your ticket to a weekend getaway. We're going on the ultimate girlfriend getaway at the Martin House. And even though we'll be sleeping in tents, the Martin House experience is anything but camping. In fact, Martin House co-founder Joanne Antonelli calls her unique bed and breakfast experience glamorous camping or glamping. You guys ready to take the tour? We are. And what a tour it was. How big is the property? As Ricky and I followed Joanne along the many trails that wind through the 18 acres of pristine forest, it was clear that the Martin House truly is the perfect weekend getaway for any girly girl from the city Contemplate looking to get back to nature without giving up the oh, comforts so. of home. I think I wore the wrong shoes for this. Well, those are actually glamping shoes because they are glamorous. Oh, okay, in that case, I fit right in. All made right here in First, we peeked into Joanne's artist studio and then took a walk in the garden where Joanne grows flowers and many of the vegetables featured on the Martin House menu of homemade dishes. Next, it was time to check out where we city girls would be sleeping and what really makes the Martin House a unique back-to-nature bed and breakfast experience. The adorably named Gypsy Fairy Tents that Joanne has imported from India. First up, Nightingale Nest. Three to the tents have a covered veranda. And that's not all. They're also beautifully appointed with private sitting areas, luxurious bedding, and private bathrooms. Where's my tent? Your tent's at the end of the ridge. Okay. That's right. I was staying in Hummingbird Haven, which overlooks a lovely meadow. Early in the morning, often down in this meadow, you can see little herds of deer. <gasps> Look, beautiful. Next, we saw where tonight's farm-to-table banquet would be held for those of us staying at the Martin House, as well as about 40 other guests from the area. Held four times a year, the Martin House dinners typically take on a theme of the season, and tonight's theme, water. Ricky and I decided to indulge in some of the other offerings at the Martin House. Come on in. I think this is more my speed. It is, you can even take your shoes off. Oh, great. Ah, those glamorous shoes. First, Joanne showed me some of the pottery she creates on site, and as an added treat, guests like me can learn how to make our own. Okay, okay. <laughs> I even got to see how Joanne creates her signature all-natural bath products found in each of our tents. While over at the homestead, dinner preparations were being completed by tonight's featured chef for the farm-to-table banquet under the stars. Dinner guests from around the area were starting to arrive, so Ricky and I changed for the evening and joined the festivities. And after a lovely cocktail party, complete with live music, Old friends and new enjoyed a delicious multi-course farm-to-table dinner with dishes including chilled cucumber dill gazpacho, Georgia mountain trout with roasted corn, basil, and tomato sauce, and Georgia peach cake. A perfect ending to a perfect day for a couple of glampers like Ricky and me. So if you're looking to spend a weekend getting back to nature, but with luxurious surroundings, friendly people, and good food, Consider spending a weekend under the stars at the Martin House. Now let's journey to South Fulton County for a farmhouse retreat known as Serenby that's anything but ordinary. If you need a weekend getaway to get away from this and maybe find a little more of this, look no further than Serenby located in South Fulton's Chattahoochee Hill Country. Longtime Atlanta restaurant owners Steve and Marie Nigren purchased this beautiful farm property back in 1991 and have since expanded this Chattahoochee Hill Country region of South Fulton County to 65,000 acres. That's over half the size of the inside of Atlanta's perimeter. Because of prevailing winds uh, blowing northeast, uh, this incredible forest on the southern edge of Atlanta is really providing fresh air going into the metro area. And if we disturb this forest, it's going to raise the pollution levels uh, in Atlanta. 
When you are walking the miles of roads and trails throughout the Serenby community, you will realize that over 70% of this land has remained untouched by development, allowing Mother Nature to remain in charge. However, within those developed areas, you'll find eco-friendly construction and even fantastic restaurants, two of which are The Hill and The Blue-Eyed Daisy. And keep an eye out because a few of the locals may be hanging out in hopes of leftovers. And when you are setting up your weekend getaway, check out some of these homes that are for rent, putting you right in the middle of this charming little town. And of course, the in-town overnight options are just the tip of the iceberg. Welcome to the Inn at Serenby. On the property of the Inn at Serenby, we have six different guest buildings. Five of the guest buildings are child-friendly. We love having children in them. One we have specifically made for adults so that when they come and they want child-free weekend, they have a place to stay. Each room is decorated differently, so depending on what kind of you know, feel you want for what you're coming for. Some are very country, some are rather sophisticated. All very calm, all very relaxing, all very warm and friendly. The inn is perfect for couples getting away for a romantic weekend, somebody who just wants to get back in touch in nature, or people with children. It's a great place to bring children because we have activities like feed the animals, hay rides, marshmallow roast, canoe rides in the lake that's behind me, um, and just going out and experiencing nature. The Inn also boasts one of Metro Atlanta's most highly acclaimed dining destinations, an organic farm-to-table restaurant known as The Farmhouse. Always a southern experience of some sort. We like to say, uh, imagine southern food that you would order a good bottle of wine with is a good way to, to think about it. Uh, in a historic old farmhouse, the eight-acre Serenby Farms grows food for all three restaurants in town and helps supply a nice organic selection for the farmer's market. This occurs in town every Saturday, May through October. Walk the trails of Chattahoochee Hill Country, stroll the gardens, and maybe visit some of the friendly farm animals. Serenby is a gift to Metro Atlanta. You won't go home hungry, and you will take home some beautiful memories of this amazing weekend getaway. Let's now explore the thousands of acres of Callaway Gardens for some weekend adventures mixed with pure relaxation. Located in Pine Mountain, Georgia, this four season resort is the perfect getaway for families, couples, and individuals. 12,000 acres make up Callaway Gardens Resort, where you'll find everything from pure relaxation to all types of adventures. There are year-round activities in a picture-perfect setting, but what often keeps visitors coming back to Callaway is the land itself, an original vision from the Callaway family. A major reason for the garden's creation was to save a particular species from extinction, the plumleaf azalea. These plumleaf azaleas that have since become the emblem of Callaway and can still be found in plentiful numbers throughout the gardens, but the gardens alone are just the beginning of a Callaway experience. Robin Lake Beach is the world's largest man-made white sand beach, and from May to September, it's the hub of summer activities. You'll find everything here from boating, swimming, tubing, volleyball, tennis, even laser tag. From laser tag to canopy tours, amenities like the treetop adventure are available to guests who are willing to take on the wilderness. You see on this canopy tour, the guides give you a prep course, allowing you to navigate your own high-flying excursion. Between the treetop adventures and beach activities, you can stay busy for a couple of days, but this is just a portion of what Callaway offers. Visitors say it's the magical atmosphere and family-friendly setting that keeps people coming back. We started coming here 50 years ago. But we still come back because we just love it here. We love all the activities. It's so family friendly. It's a really safe place to come. The Cecil B. Day Butterfly Center is one of the largest butterfly conservatories in North America. This tropical, peaceful setting is home to over a thousand butterflies. When you stroll through this tropical paradise, you become a part of a magical, intimate setting. 
from magical to majestic, you may want to catch the Birds of Prey show. Experts here tell you about these incredible hunters, and the action doesn't get much closer than this. We have a bicycle trail called the Discovery Bicycle Trail that's 10 miles, and it connects all the attractions. We also have five walking trails. There are several places to bunk up for the night here at Callaway. There's the main lodge and spa, and the Southern Pine Cottages and Mountain Creek Villas nestled comfortably in the woods. And come Christmas time, these beautiful gardens turn into a world of light and fantasy. As you explore the grounds of Callaway Gardens, you may come across a sign that reads, Take nothing from these gardens except nourishment for the soul, consolation for the heart, and inspiration for the mind. The beauty of West Georgia is unveiled, a garden of paradise for all to enjoy. We're off to the Flat Creek Lodge in Swainsboro for a perfect weekend blend of unique lodging, distinctive dining, and sporting activities. Today, Flat Creek Lodge is an outdoorsman's paradise, a stunning resort and game reserve, and a perfect weekend getaway. But like so much of the land surrounding Swainsboro, it started as farmland and longleaf pine forest. The 2,000 acre property is vast, so I hitched a ride with General Manager Kathy McDaniel for a tour. Of course, we do deer hunting. Right. We have uh, individual stands, or we have what we call the, the honeymoon stands, <laughs> where a man and his wife can sit out there. And lots of times, the wives like to go and take pictures. Along with wildlife, peacocks, and swans, the resort is peppered with landmarks to the history of the area. The red wooden benches came from one of the earliest buildings on the property. This fire tower, dating back to 1932, was relocated to the property from nearby Oak Park. And the countless sculptures by local artists serve as signposts of East Georgia's heritage. This is one of our bass ponds. This is our beach. Now many beaches uh -huh. are on hunting resorts. Right. It's a serene retreat where you can explore by day and relax in luxurious accommodations at night. The animal-themed guest rooms, like Eagle Lodge, capture the essence of a rustic yet elegant camp. And if you want to stick close to home, just drop a line in the fishing pond from the privacy of your own deck. The nearby spa and Japanese baths bring a new meaning to roughing it. Black Creek Lodge is also a working farm with 200 acres dedicated to the organic, sustainable production of produce, like oyster mushrooms. But Flat Creek is perhaps best known for its award-winning cheeses produced at its dairy, open for the public to tour. Flat Creek churns out up to 15 different flavors. The Aztec Cheddar is a Flavor of Georgia contest winner. Very good. As you can see, Flat Creek Lodge is a feast for the senses and the stomach. At the fine dining restaurant, guests can taste the fruits of the land and bring home some of the farm's jams and cheeses. Flat Creek's executive chef, Joey Williams, showed me how the restaurant uses the wonderful ingredients growing just beyond his doorstep. Tell me how we use some of the ingredients from this wonderful property. Okay, well these things are all on our menu. Uh, as you can see on both of these entrees right here, I have our cowboy cut pork chop. Right. Uh, thai chili sauce, but on top of that, under all this goodness of cheese right here is actually our Flat Creek oyster mushrooms. And the next one right here, this is our uh, grilled ribeye. Mm -hmm. Once again, up under all this goodness here is more Flat Creek oyster mushrooms. It's one of our more popular items on the menu. Can we dig in? Please, please, by all means. Whether enjoying your game cooked to order, or pairing just the right wine with your daily catch. Can we cheers? Salute. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Black Creek Lodge is a treasure for all to enjoy. That's all for this episode. Until next time, pleasant journeys.
Georgia Traveler is produced in partnership with the Georgia Department of Economic Development. This is a GPB original production.